everybody and welcome back to my channel now in today's video I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the new L'Oreal Paradise pomade now this is part of their ecstatic range I and mean, I have done first impressions on the mascara I will leave a link down below if you would like to go and check it out um, and the reason why I've got no makeup on and I don't look like I'm ready to film a video and that's because I'm actually going away tomorrow I went into Superdrug this morning to get some last minute bits um, and this was one of the bits that I picked up so I thought I might as well do a first impressions video on it before I go. I would have done my makeup but I generally don't have time. Um, I've just like packed all my stuff and all my makeup so it's all in the suitcase ready to go. I'm so so excited there's going to be lots of holiday vlogs and holiday videos to come so don't you worry about that. I've also pre-filmed all my videos in advance so you're not going to miss any videos whilst I'm away. There should be two uploads a week, one on a Thursday and one on a Monday at 7pm. But yeah I picked this up in the shade Chayton uh, 103 so I'm hoping this is going to be right. What I really love personally is that they've got a brush in the lid of the pot. I think that's really handy so you don't have to worry about getting your own brush and the brush actually feels really nice. Now that I'm looking at the pot in kind of more natural light I feel like it might be a little bit too light um, but because I have more blonde hair at the moment it may be okay. I feel like I do need to go a little bit lighter with my brows. So yeah let's go ahead and give this a go. I've just zoomed you in so hopefully you can see a bit better. Now I've never actually used a brow pomade before um, so I'm quite intrigued to see whether like it's going to be for me or not. I know brow pencils definitely aren't my thing um, so I do tend to use powders um, and I do have the like NYX uh, liquid brow gel I think it's called um, which I basically apply onto my hand and then apply with a brush so it's basically a similar sort of thing to this except it's more of like a liquid rather than a pomade if that makes sense. So I've just drawn that bottom kind of arch of the brow and then I'm going to go on to the top of the eyebrow and start filling in this arch bit here. The colour actually looks really really good. I think this is the best colour match I've ever had for a product for my eyebrows before and I'm really liking this brush actually to be fair it's working pretty well to apply the product. You can tell the product is slightly, ever so slightly lighter than my natural brow colour but to be honest once it's blended in I really don't think you can tell. So for the front of the brow I'm just going to do like a line and then sort of blend it in. I'm really really liking how this is looking. Okay so I'm really liking how that brow is looking. I'm just going to go ahead with a tiny bit of concealer and just clean it up a little tiny bit just to make sure that there's no kind of like product where it shouldn't be. So I've just finished doing my brows and I absolutely love this product. It could do with being the tiniest bit darker sometimes um, in when there's sparse areas but once I build the product up it does actually go darker so I feel like this is the perfect shade for me. I just absolutely love this. I absolutely loved the NYX eyebrow gel and I will leave my last brow routine linked down below where I use that product um, but because it's in a tube you have to kind of put it on your hand and then dip your brush into it and I can find it can be very very messy and also it's slightly too dark for me so it can look very harsh whereas I feel like because this is more of like it's not a powder but it's like in between a gel and a powder so you can be a little bit softer with your eyebrows and you can be really sharp and precise if you want to and clean it up or you can leave them a little bit messy and a little bit like not so neat if that makes sense um, so they look slightly more natural but I am definitely going to be taking this on holiday with me. It's definitely going straight into my makeup bag. I absolutely love the brush it comes with. I think it's perfect. I don't feel like you need to buy an extra brush to apply the product with. I feel like this works so, so well. I absolutely freaking love this stuff. Like, I, I find sometimes a powder doesn't stick to my skin as well, whereas this just glides nicely onto the skin, um, and I can imagine it doing so when you actually have, like, foundation underneath. I just can't, I can't say enough good words about it. I basically absolutely love this product and I would definitely, definitely recommend it to you guys. So I will leave it linked down below if you would like to go and pick it up. Please do try it if you can. It's around the £10 mark so it's not too expensive or anything like that. I did want to try the Eye Lure Brow Pomades but they only have like three or four shades uh, in the range and for me it's just not enough. Um, so yeah, I would also say that it's ranging on the more warm side rather than cool toned. Um, so just be aware of that if you've got a slightly cooler toned hair than me it might look a little bit too warm on your brows. 
else. Um, but for me, it's perfect. I absolutely love this product. So yeah, please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and I really hope you found it helpful. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'd like to see more videos like this. So let me know if you do want to see those down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.